Yeah. Of course he does. Well, what DMT he? is, it's a human neurotransmitter. It's the most powerful psychedelic known to man. Your own brain produces it. It's actually responsible for dreaming. When you're in heavy REM sleep and right at times of extreme stress when your body thinks it's going to die, that's when your brain pumps out the most DMT. And it's responsible for near-death experiences, UFO abductions, all that stuff. And I've done it about seven times. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty intense. I mean, oh, yeah, it makes sense. Near death, right, man? Well, yeah, near death experiences, uh, and it's it's uh, it's responsible for UFO abduction experiences because the idea is that an endogenous dump of DMT is a, it's stored in a pineal gland, and the pineal gland is literally your third eye. It's exactly where the third eye is in Eastern mysticism, like right between the two eyebrows, and it actually has a retina and a cornea and a lens in reptiles, and it produces DMT. And DMT, even though it's the the most powerful psychedelic drug known to man, it's in every single ecosystem all over the world. It exists in plants and grasses. And it's everywhere. I mean, it's really the craziest drug to be illegal everywhere because everyone's got it in their system. It's like you, everyone's holding. That was like Terrence McKenna's holding. line. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, pretty intense stuff, man. If you do it, you will talk to intelligent beings from other dimensions for real. <laughs> I mean, it sounds crazy. You would think that if there's something like that, that it would be on the front page. It's amazing that people don't know about it. I mean, it's the most incredible experience. I mean, we are such uh, uh, like uh, an experience obsessed society. I mean, everybody wants to go whitewater rafting, and people want to talk about, you know, my uncle climbed Mount Everest. It's all about experiences. We all want to ride roller coasters and see the craziest movies. There is a little powder, and you smoke this little powder, and it will change the way you look at everything. You won't <laughs> care about UFOs. If a UFO landed right out there, I'd be like, wow, yeah, they're probably from another planet. Whatever. It's not DMT. DMT is a hundred thousand times crazier than that. It's like mushrooms times a million plus aliens. <laughs> That's what it's like. And literally, I mean, it sounds it's it's crazier than you could possibly imagine or describe. If you take DMT, you will communicate with something, and it's 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 so beyond description that me talking about it is like trying to explain a kaleidoscope to a blind man i mean it just doesn't make sense like there's no way you could explain it i mean yeah. it's just it's so beyond anything you can explain but something communicates with you when you when you do this stuff and my words do it no justice you would take it on a plane no it's not something it's not recreational and it's not something you could take on a plane because you have to smoke it you know, and you you wouldn't want to be around people and noises or anything. You'd want to be in total in darkness, desert, and or silence, and you want to you want to just experience that. Can you have bad trips on DMT? Sure, you can have bad trips in anything, but bad trips are usually you trying to resist and your ego trying to control the situation, and you realizing what, what a piece of poo you really are. You know, like <laughs> the, your ego protects you from a lot of your you know terrible behavior, and you know it justifies a lot of things you do. But man, when that when mushrooms or DMT or anything that that removes the ego it just shows you what your life is really like and who you really are that's where the bad trips come from bad trips come, don't come from happy people with wonderful lives or loving families or nice to everybody bad trips come from people who are doing bad things or they're insecure or they have real bad problems in their past that they're squashing and they're not dealing with and then it just wham just comes right up to the surface There's these <laughs> things it's like if you've if you've had enough of these experiences you know well what is life well life should be a bunch of positive experiences it should be a lot of fun you know so that's what comedy is I mean comedy is like Spreading fun, it's spreading love, spreading happiness. You know, you go on stage and everybody has a good time. You say thanks for coming out, everybody cheers, you have fun. It's a, a positive experience, you know, and that's all you have in life, really, is positive experiences with your girlfriend, your family, yeah. your friends, your buddies. That's really all life is. You know what sucks? We were we're lucky enough to, you know, have a life, you know, and you and you'll live your whole life not knowing anything yeah. yeah when it comes down to like looking up at the stars like what is all that is there other life forms is there other yeah. things just around you yeah we never will get the answers nah. to any of that stuff that's the craziest thing about dmt because dmt is literally like having a meeting with god it's like having a meeting with divine unbelievably wise incredibly loving energy like whatever it is the source of everything and it leaves you so humbled that after that after it's over you have a it's like literally like you're still you you still look like you you still wear the same clothes you are but you're not really you anymore I mean you literally have been changed you know you have experienced something that very few humans experience and the thought to me that people can go through their entire lives and not know about this is an incredible waste of time 
It's like your life could be so much more positive and so much more interesting and fascinating. And you, you would be so much more humble and aware of what you, you really are and where you really stand if you just have this experience. Can you get this uh, drug at, totally at illegal. Dwayne Reed? <laughs> it should be. Well, you know, that's the crazy thing is you can get alcohol everywhere. You can go to Dwayne Reed and buy a, bu a jug of wine and sure. get effed up. You yeah. know? I mean, we have, we have drugs that are available. I mean, how many times you talk to a girl, oh, I don't do drugs. I mean, you know, she's hammered, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you know, I mean, everybody, there's, there's drugs, caffeine. I mean, I'm drinking a coffee right now. It's just, it's sanctioned. It's a sanctioned drug because it's, it's great for capitalism. It keeps you going. It keeps you working. Mm. But there's, uh, you know, there's, there's drugs out there that are actually good for you. There's drugs out there that are actually good for your mind. I do drugs because I, I find the state that psychedelic drugs put you in very fascinating and very introspective, and you can learn a lot about yourself, and you can learn about a lot about life, because it removes you and your ego from the equation. You get to look at things from like a, a newborn's perspective. That's why I do it. I don't do anything like, I don't do coke or meth or anything dangerous, anything that's addictive. I have never done coke. I've never done speed. I've never done heroin. I, I won't do anything that can hurt you. But psychedelic drugs, those are, they're, they're very different. With this, this big blanket that we put on everything, we call everything drugs. That's a, a broad term that encompasses everything from like NyQuil to DMT, you know? I mean, they're all drugs. I mean, right. all, they all affect your consciousness. It's like, how do they affect your consciousness, though? I'm not interested in anything that messes me up. I don't think, I'm not interested in anything that gives me brain damage or anything that makes me, you know, addicted to it. I just, I'm only interested in things that, that can alter my state of consciousness for the, the better. It's very, very intense. Uh, the, but it's not dangerous. It's a human neurotransmitter. It's actually one of the most transient drugs ever exhibited in the body because your body brings it down to baseline really quickly. Your body brings it down to baseline in like 10 to 15 minutes. It's really crazy. What's that mean, down to baseline? B yeah. It means like, say, if you have it, you're high, you go to that dimension, whoa, it blows out, <laughs> and then whoa, 15 minutes later, you're back normal. And the crazy thing is, it's just like dreams. You know how you wake up, and you're like, I had the craziest dream. It was me and my buddy Mike, and we were, we were kids, but we had a sled, and my mom was there. And then five minutes later, you're like, what the hell was my dream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly what a DMT trip is like. It's like gold dust slipping cool. through your fingers.